Joe to the cast of What's Up Guys, and today we have an 18 and 2 TDM on WMD. But uh, as usual, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay because I rarely, rarely do. Uh, I wanted to talk about a subject today that I've seen talked about a couple times here and there, but uh, I think I can give a little different of a spin on it than most people do, and that's kind of talking about what I'm going to expect from Battlefield 3, uh, and, and I'm not going to compare it to COD, I'm going to try not to, because obviously no one uh, has played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, uh, well, I mean people have played it, but not to the extent where they can judge it as a game yet, uh, I don't think people have really played Battlefield 3 enough to the point where they can judge it as a full release yet, but uh, you know, people have played the beta, they've played the alpha, uh, I played both of them, I played the the alpha for about two hours. My buddy gave me a code, and then I think I gave that away to somebody else because I just that, that was back when I didn't really, I hadn't really gotten in the PC battlefield all that much. Uh, I was frustrated with the controls. I was frustrated with a bunch of stuff, and I kind of didn't give the alpha a shot. When the beta rolled around, I gave it a good play. I played about the first week or two, I think, of the beta. And I think it was only out for what four weeks, three weeks, maybe, maybe not even that. I can't even remember. But uh, I played it. A good amount. Uh, I played Caspian Border a couple times when it was came out on PC. Uh, so I think I played it like the first week it came out, took a break from it, and then played it right before it ended. Uh, so I played, I, I don't want to, probably about eight hours worth. Uh, and I got to say, it was fun. It was a great experience on PC console I played a little bit of too. Uh, and it was, you know, obviously extremely buggy. You were falling through the map. People were glitching everywhere. But on PC, it was a really solid experience. It was well-rounded. Uh, obviously, there were some problems with it. Uh, I think there was like a UMP bug, maybe. I think I heard that somewhere, not really sure. Uh, but there's just there's problems with it. And it was an old build of the game, which is understandable. And, you know, people judged it, I think, too quick. People flew to conclusions that, you know, this game's going to be a piece of crap. People are going to sit in corners the entire time. Guns are going to be ridiculously overpowered, blah, blah, blah. Movements are stupid. This is stupid, this and that. And I think people kind of jumped the gun because, you know, betas are obviously going to have problems. And the game is different. The game is a lot different than any FPS I've ever seen. Now, I'm sure there's been first person shooters that have been ultra realistic and I just haven't heard of them uh, because like I said I'm mainly a COD and Battlefield guy when it comes to FPSs. Um, but I honestly think that once people learn to adapt to the new controls, just like any other new feeling kind of game that comes out, I think people are going to like it. Uh, Black Ops was drastically different from Modern Warfare 2. There was no stopping power. Uh, there was just it, it just felt different. Treyarch games just feel different. And at first, people really complained about it. They didn't like it, uh, and they, they seemed to get a lot of anger built up towards the game. And as they played it and as they adapted to it, people really started to seem to like it. And I think it's going to be some of the same with Battlefield 3. I think people are at first going to hate it. They're going to complain. Uh, you're going to see a lot of rage videos go up. But I think as people play it, and as Modern Warfare 3 gets boring, as you know you, you know it will. I'm a COD fan. I love Call of Duty, but I can already predict that Modern Warfare 3 is not going to have a very long lifespan in terms of interesting gameplay. Uh, I just, I don't see it happening. Black Ops didn't. Black Ops got old for me around June, and, you know, that was not even, just about, what was that, about eight months into the game's lifespan, so I just don't foresee Modern Warfare 3 having a long lifespan. But like I said, I can't really predict that, haven't played the game. Uh, but I think Battlefield's going to have a good size lifespan. I think it's going to start off kind of bad, I think it's going to start off rocky, but as people adapt to it and as they learn it, uh, I think it has a much more in-depth ranking system and has a much more just in-depth feeling of accomplishment when you unlock stuff. So I definitely think Battlefield is going to be a contender to uh, to beat Call of Duty on some fronts. It's obviously going to sell more Call of Duty is than, uh, than Battlefield just because of the name COD. But I think Battlefield, as an overall gaming experience, might compete with Call of Duty uh, in terms of winning over hearts. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know how I can improve my commentaries in the comments below. I'm obviously still working on it. Uh, I'm still working to become a better commentator, and I'm still working to please you guys the best I can. So let me know what I'm doing wrong. Let me know what I'm doing right. If you really enjoyed the video, favorite it. Uh, it helps out TJ and FPS for trying to grow this channel to, uh, to one of the best FPS channels around. So if you guys enjoyed the commentary, this has been Joe Cavs. If you like what you hear, my channel is in the description, uh, along with my Twitter and whatever other links I throw in there. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.